sorry, it's my pleasure now to welcome our Secretary Sir Vijay Kumar. A soft spoken and an unusual engineering person who will always inspire and motivate us all in all our efforts. A hearty welcome to you, Sir. Now, Dwari Swami Raju, a dynamic, versatile person. His presence is always a support to us. A warm welcome to you, sir. I welcome Kupa Raju, Krishnam Raju,
इसलिए वो वाइस प्रेसिडेंट थे आनंद राजू एडमिरल सेक्रेटरी एसटीम प्रेसिडेंट थे वेरी वेल टू एसटीस माय एडमिनिस्ट्रेटर मिसेस अपना सुरेश माय डियर कलीग्स बिलोर पेरेंट्स माय लवली स्टूडेंट्स ए वेरी हैप्पी इवनिंग टू यू ऑल इट्स अ ग्लेड प्रेजर to present this annual report for the year 2022-2023 to this August gathering. As briefed by Mrs. Malika, uh, Malika Prasad, Universal Education Trust is actually a universal one. And it serves under the able leadership of our president, Dr. Chandrasekhar Raju, who is a multi-faceted person. A very strong believer in discipline and human values. He believes in ideology of pursuit of excellence. While day-to-day -day activities are carried on by our Deloitte secretary with a practical approach and a dynamic supervision, the institute is reaching its new horizons. Our Deloitte treasurer, Sri Darshan Raju, is a man of few words, excellent and supportive to all of us. To put it in a nutshell, the entire team of Universal Education and Trust have nurtured the issue throughout the democratic style of functioning. They discharge their collective responsibilities without interfering in day-to-day -day activities of the staff. This has not only given us a feeling of belonging, but also inspired in us a sense of security and confidence. Each one is an embodiment of virtues. Such as simplicity, honesty, dedication, generosity, and service manner. Ladies and gentlemen, we, the staff of the school, are truly proud to be associated with you. This year, 2021-23, had new challenges for us as the academic year began after the pandemic. High standards have been set both for teachers and students. And academic excellence is possible only where there are dynamic, disciplined, dedicated, and high qualified teachers. One of the strong factors is very committed staff, both teaching and non teaching, whose mission is duty and with fairly accessibility. To the driving force, we have some young teachers joining our team Mrs. Rupashri, Mrs. Rashmi Kulkarni. Mrs. Nagashri, Mrs. Rupa, Mrs. Nandini, Mrs. Steffi, Mrs. Mahadevama, Mrs. Veena Bagadi, Mrs. Aarti Praveen, Mrs. and Mrs. Shreyas Prasad for the primary and the high school sections. Under the strict guidance and cooperation policy, cooperational policies of the management, all the staff members including the teaching and the non-teaching persons are committed to the safety and well-belonging to the school in the premises. Staff are appointed after background checks. As many as you are aware, 95% of our staff are associated with the institute from the beginning and relate themselves very affectionately to the students. At this juncture, I would like to mention that our staff, Mrs. Maitri, Mrs. Nisha Patel, Mrs. Lata, and Mrs. Atma Agre have completed 10 years of service. And the management is pleased to honor them with long-standing award shortly. When I see schools now and look back to my school days, I notice that the meaning of school has changed tremendously. Many positive changes have taken place. Currently, textbooks are not only the source of learning, many other forms have come forth. Teachers are not mere knowledge transferring agents, but they are agents of change. I hope we found a common ground with our management, who are intellectually, morally, emotionally and socially well-grounded to create citizens for a better tomorrow. A set of skills keep on changing with the passage of time. Hence, there have been many changes at the school this year, in terms of expectation, communication, 
behavioral management, professional development, technology, and all other academics. Teachers work together in various training sessions to align the curriculum, curriculum and understand the evaluation process by CDC. This was to make sure that the students are learning all that they have and to progress through the academic programs. We are able to give individual attention to the students with our unique policy of small class term having an average students earn teacher ratio of 30 to 1. We believe in providing a competitive learning environment, incorporating a rich and variety of co-curricular activities to suit each child's interest and ability. Students thus train are encouraged to participate in various industry competitions to showcase their talents. At RPS, we understand the importance of upskilling and the upskilling of the teacher's skills. We have scheduled several training programs for our teachers. We have Mr. Sham Prasad Bhatt, Chief Coordinator at Centre for National Education Policies and Research Department who gave the insight of National Education Policy 2020. Teachers were informed about the importance of including skill-based learning to students. A disaster management training program was and firefighting training program was conducted through the teaching, non-teaching and support staff with hands-on experience and practical demonstration of our techniques. Training sessions are creating happy environment in school, stress management, positive attitude and soft skill training program was conducted by Xavier, a research scholar from Enhance. Shikshak Swadhyay, a three-day training program was conducted to teachers to refresh and introspect the teacher's role in the school by creating Bharatiya in the environment, which is the core soul of National Education Policy 2020 by Pan India Organization, Bharatiya Shikshak Apart from these, our teachers are undergoing regular training programs online and offline conducted by CBS. The school reopening on 12th March, 12th May 2020 for pre-primary classes and 19th May 2020 for primary students. It was indeed a happy moment for all of us. Most of the students have turned up to the school after two long years. Students' achievements. Pawan Sai of fourth standard is a chess talent of our school, who has won district, state, national championship. She has won more than 42 trophies till there and has been awarded by many grandmasters, including Grandmaster H. Kumar. Avani of 10th standard completed her junior Bhatnatyam examination with complete score of 93.7% for which she was honoured with Nrutya Pratibhe Award by Nrutya Kutira Music and Dance College Bangalore. <laughs> Lok Pradip of 4th standard won two bronze medals in Qatar and Umiti Karate Championship conducted by Sita Bangalore Open Court National Level Championship. And Trinity of Fourth Standard won silver and bronze medals in Karate Championship conducted by the same organization. Pranamya Hazwar has won three prizes in Karate conducted by International Karate Association. Guru Sreshta of Seventh Standard has been awarded with a certificate and a medal by ITC for being the highest contributor of recycling material which is being collected regularly at our school by the ITC and the Bob Athlete. <laughs> Last but not the least, our student performed incredibly well in inter-school Touch Rugby Championship 2022 and can be connected by Football Union and Rugby India on 2nd December 2022 and scored first runner up in the following categories that is under 12, girls, 
under 14 girls and under 14 boys. Kiran Mai Manohar Bhadane, Varsha Varsha Rashmit Shetty, Binu Roshan and Karan Kumar were selected to represent Bando Urban District team and perform to secure second honor for their team. Yes, and parents, I'd like to just mention here that the touch rugby was introduced to our students for the first time and their performance was commendable. Career guidance was given by Baikus and Mr. Vedamurti for uh, from People Learn, uh, First Learning Academy to give an insight of different educational and career options available for students. In pedagogy, Ms. Harita gave some inputs to high school students about pursuing pilot training. With the effect of pandemic, a lot of emotional in impairment has transpired. To help children to overcome these issues, an in-house psychology counsellor Ms. Aparna, Ms. Ar Arpita, Ms. Arpita helped them to overcome these issues like anger management, interpersonal relationship, stress and learning gaps. Children were taken to tra traffic park and given traffic awareness by the traffic police and the traffic warden organization. Children of class 8, 9 and 10 visit nursery and were introduced to different plant species. Lab activities on chemistry, physics and biology are conducted regularly. To imbibe the sensitivity towards nature among the students, different activities were conducted for students from grade 6 to 10, made paper bags and distributed them in the neighborhood, neighboring shops. Students requested not to use plastic bags and to insist on usage of paper bags or personal bags. International Yoga Day was observed on 21st of June to promote and create awareness about the benefits of yoga. Our yoga instructor, Ms. Aarti Praveen, Praveen, conducted the event. Investiture ceremony to was conducted. A good leader believes in service and with pride with the leadership confidence, inspired to impact life. The elected student leaders soar in their dedication, determination and distinction to serve. Our academic director Mrs. Archana Suresh, Principal Dr. Japrakash and Vice Principal Mrs. Malika, Malika Prasad bestowed the leaders with the flag and badges. The physical instructor, Mr. Shreyas Prasad, administered the oath to their leaders. Clubs are integral part of education. They extended student learning from academics to life. Ms. Kritika, assistant director from Indian Music of Experience, was the chief guest to the program. She emphasized on she emphasized the children on having at least one hobby for overall development. Traditional celebrations are some of the core aspects of any culture, whether it is a religious festival or a national observance. Celebrating our national, traditional and national festivals are a part of our school. To incorporate in our school a sense of joy, pride, satisfaction and to enrich in them the spirit of tolerance and cultural heritage. I thank our Canada, English, General Science and Social Science Department teachers who have planned a variety of literary, literary activities starting from this year. We have allotted definite month to different subjects to emphasize on real learning and fun. The introduction of the student's pledge and the teacher's pledge, which is administered in the assembly, helps in retaliating our commitment to the school the state and our nation on the whole. Interhouse assembly talks on current affairs create an awareness. With the formation of Science and Humanity Club, it has helped to enrich the competitive abilities of our students. The cultural, 
but the club in, 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 in charge teachers have organized talks by eminent personalities on various subjects like career choice, health, science, and relevant subjects of teachers. Seminar on personality development, cultural, and moral ethics were conducted. This year being Azadika Amrut Mahatma, Independence Day was celebrated depicting the freedom struggle from 1857, first war of independence to August 1947 and continued with story of India's progress in various fields. Our students were selected for the state parade and could not take part on the final day parade as the number of veterans were reduced to in the memory of our second president, Dr. Saropali Radha Krishna, Teachers Day was celebrated at our school. Students organized a cultural program which was not only entertaining but an exceptional but also expression of their gratitude to the teachers. To bring out the talents and learning of the students, Open House Day is celebrated in the school. Students prepare, charge, Working and non-working models, their presentation received applause from our parents. Ch student without sorry. <coughs> children without st uh, school is meaningless. We all love our children, and our children's ce celebration was done with full zeal and enthusiasm. They entertained the students with their performance, stories, and magic stories. The Royal School strongly believes in developing both physical and mental health. As special activity, skating was introduced to 5th and 6th standard from this year. It was also taken up by students of different schools after the school hours in our campus under the guidance of Mr. Mate Gola. Various sports events were conducted. Prize winners of different games were awarded with medals and certificates. Our chief guest, Mr. Samira, assistant coach for American Football Association Karnataka, along with our director, Mr. Sashna Suresh, gave over the medals to the winners of different sports events. Teresa House won the overall Intra House Championship for this year, 2022 and 2023. While sports develop students' grass motor skills, twist challenges the IQ level. An intra-house quiz competition was conducted for higher primary and high school students. Along with this, over 21 various other competitions were conducted class-wise like recitation, spell check, vegetable printing, handwriting, essay writing, quiz and other, and other much more uh, were conducted and more than 100 prizes are distributed on a special occasion for the graduation day ceremony will which will be held in the month of February. These competitions are spread throughout the year. All these are above achievements will not only be possible for me to achieve single-handedly. I should confess that the management's policy, guidance, strong foundation and ideals of Universal Education Trust is known for. Our able and committed staff members' cooperation, active participation of our students and the constructive support rendered by the parent communities are all the factual reasons of the school's glory and success today. Our cultural program have been collectively named as Insignia, which will definitely bear testimony of the brilliant performance of my students. The creativity and hard work of my colleagues in crafting out such fine and productive skills and inducted to, inducted to my director, Mrs. Arjuna Suresh, for her constant guidance and grateful guidance and I am grateful to all my colleagues for their steadfast support and my special thanks to my senior colleagues, Mrs. Malika Prasad and Mrs. Aparna and my beloved office staff who have constantly been supporting me in my day-to-day -day activities at this school. On this occasion, I thank all of you for rendering such magnanimous and abundant support. May God bless you all with good health, joy and peace. Wish you all a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year in my life.
sir, it was very exhausting. A tree spreads its branches bearing fruits for the benefit of all. The tree symbolizes growth and stability. Universal Educational Trust, our parent organization, has been a magnanimous institution working for over four decades. I now request our academic director, Mrs. Archana Suresh, to read the trust report. We are very happy that uh, many of you have turned in large numbers. We are very sorry that you know, many of you are not finding a place to sit. Honestly, we expected the parents of the kids to be a part of the celebration today, but there are quite a few numbers, so please do bear with us. A very good evening to the esteemed Chief Guest Professor Siddhananda, Honorable Trustees of the Universal Educational Trust, parents of the school, their colleagues and their students. We make a living by what we get. We make a life by what we give. I think the truth behind this aptly applies to our trustees who wanted to contribute something meaningful and purposeful to the society. What better than education? I now request our Honorable Secretary, Sri S. Kumar, to brief us about the wonderful journey of the Educational Trust. Professor Siddhananda, Honorable President Dr. Chandrasekhar Raju, Honorable Treasurer Duraswami Raju, all my fellow trustees, Academic Director Mrs. Archana Suresh, Principal Dr. Jay Prakash, staff members, dear children and parents. Universal Educational Trust, way back in 1992, started Rive School with State Board Curriculum with the main motto of giving quality and affordable education for all those who seek and deserve. The study growth was seen as we moved from the humble beginnings in Jainagar to a spacious building in J.P. Nagar. With the growing strength, there was a persistent demand to start CBSE curriculum, which laid the path to open the Royal Public School in the year 2019. As the focus is on providing healthy, competitive facilities with a well-planned child-friendly infrastructure, the trustees were involved at every stage of planning and execution. At this point, I would like to thank our landlord, Mr. Prabhu, for being very cooperative in providing the best of the infrastructure every time we ask for. He has always supported us in the right perspective. I request Mr. Prabhu to accept our token of gratitude and I now request Mr. Made Goda to escort him to the stage and our President Dr. Chandrasekhar Raju to do the honors. Welcome to the stage, Mr. Prabhu. opportunities and the right guidance always has a positive impact on the kids. The teaching and non-teaching staff are sensitized to the various emotional, psychological and academic needs of the children as we are always committed to the well-being of these young minds. Various activities, both curricular and co-curricular, have been planned, keeping the holistic development of the child. I am sure with all their, all their selfless and untiring effort, the teaching staff under the able guidance of our academic director and the principal would definitely mold their minds while well equipped to go to face the challenges as future citizens of the world. A thought to ponder about for our students. Never let your energy level pull down yourself. Be stubborn enough to reach where you want to see yourself. Let your school and parents be proud of you. Thank you and wish you all the very best in the new year and in the memory of many more years to come. Thank you, Olga. Thank you, sir. A popular saying goes, success is where preparation and hobby as a student is your commitment to make the best use of the facilities provided 
and become a successful individual as you walk out of the gates of the school. Management has always guided the staff members to focus on the all-round development of the students. Dear children, remember your school's motto, distinction can be achieved through a determination to dedicate yourself to a cause. Dedicated teachers and long-serving staff members are always an asset to an organization. The values are molded and carried forward in years to come. We proudly share that many of our staff members are associated with this management and school since three decades. A small act of recognition of their services is a big step in building a strong bond and teachers who have completed 10 years are recognized and honored during this annual day celebrations. I now request our president, Dr. Chandrasekhar Raju, to do the honors. This is Maitri Nair. Please come forward.
match the first the bank and place the parents of our children. Any excuses to march forward with
Minister. I am extremely happy to be the Minister of very colourful, enthusiastic, who are awaiting to perform here on the stage. And my talk today is to the parents, teachers and management. Because children may not be able to understand or follow. So therefore, please listen to me for a while. At the outset, may God bless you all with a superlative degree of health, comparative degree of knowledge and education, positive degree of all other things. That is my wish for the upcoming New Year 2023. Yes. Friends, each one of us has a vision. Each one of us has a common dream. A dream to share, to see India, a land of fertile and rich. Villages are prosperous. Cities are clean and green. Our bureaucrats are honest. Our students are enthusiastic, curious to learn so many things. And we want to see our motherland, India, to be a proud member of world economic community. This is our dream. And this dream cannot be realized through magic. It takes determination, hard work, sweat. Who has to do all that? It is you. It is you who is expected because you belong to the future. And we as elders have lots of expectations from you. Therefore, you have so many responsibilities. As you are quite aware, today's world is power based. Power is knowledge based. Knowledge is education based. Education is institution based. Why you have chosen this Royal Public School? With lots of expectations. Institution is classroom based. Classroom is teachers and students relations based. We want our teachers update their knowledge. And treat the children as their Students as their children. That is very important. Teachers have to be very alert because because of the so many various sources of knowledge, sometimes students may be much well aware of the teachers. Therefore, teachers should always be very alert. Going to all sorts of magazines, acquiring or amassing all sorts of knowledge, then only they can be helpful to the students. Okay, they have to motivate the students to have very high ambition. Very, very high ambition. Anything is possible with the students if they are properly guided. Guiding is very important. Guidance. If, they, if the parents and teachers work together for the upcoming of their children, they can be definitely at the highest position. Every parent wants their wants to be at the highest key. Nothing comes like that. One should put hard work. So you must motivate your children. So parents and teachers. Because parents are second teachers. Teachers are second parents. If this works, definitely our children will be highly contributing to the growth of this economy. It is the knowledge that matters. It is the knowledge. And at the same time, knowledge with proper behavior. That is also very important. Wealth may give some economic status. Knowledge may give us some awareness. But it is the behavior that gives us respect. Therefore, our children must be well educated, quite knowledgeable, and at the same time, if it comes to the behavior, exemplary behavior. That is most important. We should make them not to become successful. 
person but to become persons of values values matter a lot so therefore you please see that both at home as well as in the institutions they are 24 by 7 teach them values what are the values what should be honest one should be punctual to this classes. One should be sincere to their studies. Because not to depend on these values. So honesty is it not? And patriotism, that is also very important. There cannot be a nation without the people. Nation means people. It is only the Character that makes men, it is the men that makes the nation. Please remember, it is the character and the character and character which makes the men. And it is the men who makes the nation. So therefore, unless we work hard, unless we are sincere, unless we are patriotic, our India cannot be Mahan. Not just in words, Vela Bharat Mahan. We should see to the, we should show to the world that in true letter and spirit that India is great. India is the world leader. We are on the way under the leadership of our Prime Minister, beloved Prime Minister. We are very claiming. Who has lots of concern to the country, they should work right from home. We have to mold our children in such a way that they are most bad yet. Very, is it not? That is how we have to make them to be. We should make them to learn. Because learning is to know more and more. Is it not? So there is no limit for learning. So learning is to know more and more means acquiring knowledge. Learning is to do perfectly. Learning is to do perfectly means skillfully. Skills. Skills are very very important. Unless we have good skills, we cannot complete the work in the right spirit or in the way it is expected to do. Learning is to build character. Learning is to build character and learning is to live together. That is very, very important. Nowadays, these joint families have died, disappeared. No joint families. Myself, my wife, my children. That is not the way. A family with parents, with the elder generation, that is grandfather, grandmother, definitely makes a lot of difference. Definitely, because they will have abundant time to take the children and just tell the stories and all other things. Is it not? So that is what family means. That should be, and this learning is a continuous process. The day we stop learning is the day we stop living. Learning continuously is very, very essential because it gives us with a fresh energy which is the essence of life. So learning is not only crucial in this fast changing world, it also provides us with a fresh energy which is the essence of life. So that is very very important and there are so many things. Our children must be made to possess courage. That is the first thing. Courage. That is bravery to tell the truth. Fortune favors the brave. That is the first and foremost thing. Second thing is wisdom, which comes to knowledge. Or knowledge itself is not wisdom, but you have to apply it. It is said, knowledge is power. Now, he gnanayana sadrusha pavitra viham vidyate. Now, he gnanayana sadrusha there is nothing which is equal to knowledge. That is the second thing. You must see to it that they must cultivate the habit of reading, reading, reading. 
not necessarily for the exams. You want to build our character. You want to understand our society. That is very, very important. Unless we understand the society, how can we help the society to grow? Society to become modern. That is the second. The third one is kindness, compassionate. One should be very kind. Kind to everybody. Kindness is the only language which the deaf can hear, the blind can read. Maswana says, Daya yalla da dharma adhyam daya. Daya ya beko. Yalla dharma gara de. Daya is the kindness. So one should be kind. One should be kind. That is the precious element which if everybody has, there cannot be any struggles in the society. There cannot be any conflict in the society. There, there can, you cannot see a poor person in the society. That is, that is. Last one, we have to tell our children that at no time they should suffer from ego. E-G-O. So we should make them to see that they are egoless. That is very important. I-ness and minus should go. I is God. U is light. Okay, we always that we should give it up. That is that is very very important. So egolessness. So ego is a big hurdle in our prosperity. Therefore, the kindness minus should go. That should be taught to our children. So all of us and every one of us want to become or want to taste success. Can you spell success? S U W C E W S. Can you spell success without you? No. Therefore, you is very important for anything to become success. For instance, if this gathering or if the annual day of this Royal Public School cannot be a success without you. And this institution cannot be successful if you do not get good results. You should work hard and you should get good results and you should good bring, you should bring fame and name to the institution. Therefore, it is you that matters. You are very, very, very important. Without you there is nothing. No parents, no teachers, no institutions. So therefore, you, you, a big public applause. Very big applause. And all for you. Yes. Just very say, good behavior as you are quite aware. I have been speaking and emphasizing on behavior and behavior. That makes a lot of difference. Good behavior doesn't command any monetary value. Doesn't command any monetary value. But it has the power to purchase millions and millions of hearts of people. But good behavior has the power, though it has no monetary value, power to purchase millions and millions of hearts of people. And please remember, please remember, God has given to us this life. But this life doesn't provide any warranties or guarantees. Just like this mic or this podium or anything. All these have guarantees and warranties. But our life has no warranty or guarantee. Life only provides possibilities and opportunities. Possibilities and opportunities. Therefore, it is for us and it is for you to convert that possibilities and opportunities for our success. Once you make up your mind, you can do anything. A heart, three heads are important. A heart to design, a head to design, a hand to execute, one what adds up to our success. So therefore, please remember all these things. Life is, once again, it is neutral, it has no favorites. Life is neutral, it has no favorites. Those who are weak, 
to see any hurdle as a problem. So those who are weak, they see any hurdle as a problem. Those who are normal, they think it is a challenge. Those who are strong, they think it is a, an opportunity. Therefore, my only wish is to parents and teachers to make the children, as Bosona said, don't kill, don't steal, don't be angry, don't consider others are inferior, don't waste yourself. Don't disrespect others. This is the only way to lead a pure life. So, with this, I wish you all the best. May God bless you in every way of your life. Thank you very much. I now request Mrs. Vanmala to propose the word of thanks. Thank you, Mrs. Banana. I now request the dignitaries to be seated among the audience. 